And our live game is Argentina against France. I'm Peter Drury, and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Hi, Peter. It's great to be here. How do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Who else but Lionel Messi? I don't need to tell anyone what he's capable of. Some critics don't rate him as the best player on the planet. Um, that's because the Argentinian, for me, is on a different planet. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Di Maria crosses one in. And he won't reach that. Sanya. Giroud looks like a good ball through. Oh, good interception. Pogba battles to win it back. Rami. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Bilia. And it's Messi. Messi with the ball through. Away from immediate danger. France have a free kick. Keeper's got good distance on that. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. It's a long ball, and it's not hit its target. Popper. Griezmann. They get a throw in. Bilia, Di Maria, tries a through ball, now here's the through ball. Sanya. Not long till half-time and it is still goalless. Now it's Griezmann, now the pass. Now it's Giroud. Has a shot! Oh, the ball's come loose! Lovely feet. Conte hits it! Oh, he couldn't get hold of it. Yeah, we, we love a try. And the half-time whistle goes. The midway point of the game. France ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil nil. France playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Pumps it upfield. Marcus Rojo. Conte charges in. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Griezmann passes it through. Well played, he saw that coming. Looks to slip it through. Evra does well to read it and intercepts. Rami. Pogba is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's being closed down first. 
to Bacilis. And it's Bilia. Goes long and forward. The referee's awarded a free kick. Once more, Argentina have decided now is the time to make their final change. Conte gets it back. Out again for a throw in. Correa crosses into the box. To Michelis, spoon forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. He'll have a dip! Fantastic! That is classic Cunaguero! All goals are welcome, but when they come at a time like that, they're priceless. Well, that always looked the likely outcome. Aguero is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Argentina take the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Now it's Giroud. Has a hit! It's a loose ball. Going for goal! Oh, should have been the equaliser. I think he rushed that. He had a bit more time than he realised. He could so easily have equalised there. Just five minutes left. Pastore knocks it towards the front. Now it's Messi. Correa. Conte. Griezmann. Tries the route one option. Giroud, and the flag has stayed down. Hits it! Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. 